What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the second proper, official and honest channel update of 2016. It was only January this year where I did my first one, where I parked my Lamborghini here and announced to you guys very nervously that I was already looking to replace it and now I am back with my True Blood Mercedes AMG GTS. And today's video, again, I'm very nervous about filming because I think that it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. There's been tons of questions across my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So I thought rather than create a Q&A, I'm gonna do this video and then off the back of this video, host a Q&A if you have any more questions about the things that I'm gonna to touch upon in this video. I also want to unmonetize this video so you don't have to watch through adverts and anything like that and I just want you guys to watch the entire video so you can basically hear what I have to say over the last six months of a pretty awesome year on Supercars of London. Before I get this video underway I just want to thank each and every one of you guys that has subscribed, followed one of my social media platforms or just watched a YouTube video on Supercars of London because without your support I wouldn't be able to be in the position that I am and it is all down to you guys that I wake up every Every morning and get out of bed motivated to up my content to get better videos and of course produce awesome videos that I can upload to Supercars of London. So with all of that being said let's jump into my car for the first time ever I have bought a notebook with me written down quite a few notes of things that I want to talk about in this video. I've got my GoPro set up and I think let's just go for a drive because it is an absolutely beautiful day and to be honest this location is really awesome even though it says no dogs allowed no unauthorized vehicles or parking the gate is open so rather than park there right next to the road where the audio is going to be bad I thought that I'll just tuck in here so let's jump in the car go for a drive burn some fuel and have a discussion on my channel here's the channel update 2.0 to supercars of London of 2016 oh. oh what a beautiful place to be we need to get the air conditioning on straight away that I was always going to miss the Monaco race. From me taking so much... Even though I've got my notebook down there, I don't know where to start this video. So I think this is like take 30. I'm not sure whether my GoPro is actually going to last. Take 50. I reckon we're on about take 50 on this one. Well, hello, welcome to the following day in the evening and after three hours of filming and completely mucking up every single sentence that I said, plus around two to three hours of editing the video and working out whether I could make it into a video that I was happy with, turns out I couldn't. Let's start with why I decided not to go to Monaco even though I had already booked my tickets and my flights back in January. And this does go back quite a long way because since, I would say, since buying the Lamborghini, I've had some of the most amazing opportunities and gone on some pretty incredible trips that have taken up quite a lot of my time. And as I am on the road, on the go all of the time, I never get the chance, I don't know if you can see that Ferrari there, but there is a Ferrari California. I never get the chance to really sit down and think about what just either happened, what is going to happen, plan, prepare. I never actually get the chance to do that. So for the last six to nine months, I have compromised on quite a lot of things, including my personal health. So my fitness is at an all time low. Two years ago, I was involved in a pretty bad car crash in the north of France and wasn't able to go to the gym. I lost all my motivation to go to the gym and I am, yes, in a pretty bad state when it comes to fitness. So I want to get more healthy and I want to get more fit, both mentally and physically, so that I can be the best or in the best shape as possible to create some fun and entertaining videos. And I do hope that me as an individual will start getting more healthy and better, meaning hopefully more lively and excitable and enjoyable on camera for you guys to hopefully spend more time editing videos, spend more time concentrating editing videos, and fundamentally making better videos. And that moves on nicely to the next question after this GTR drives past. What is going on? 
literally driving around two minutes away from where I live, black GTR and a red Ferrari in California. Okay, that GTR kind of lost my trail of thought, but what I was moving on to talk about is how recently I've been putting a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on myself and beating myself up because I've been having these incredible opportunities, going on these awesome road trips and living the dream basically, I have got into this spiral of always wanting to better my previous video, which I suppose isn't a bad thing because obviously I want to make sure that my videos are entertaining, funny, action packed, but I've been putting a lot of stress on myself to basically every video that I upload to be better than the previous one. And I know now, since spending time in the UK, that sometimes some days filming are better than others and it's as simple as that because either the car or whatever happens that is caught on camera makes that video better so i'm trying to come to the realization and talking myself round into getting a little bit more comfortable with the fact that some days and some uploads just aren't as good as some of the other ones it is a very very difficult cycle of wanting to upload to supercars of london and wanting to continually develop my content and which is why I actually stopped doing the daily vlogs I will get back into it but at the moment my life just isn't interesting enough and I wasn't happy with uploading videos of basically doing nothing some of the days and this week especially has been a case of doing a lot of business administration more so than filming I've done a fair bit of filming but there's still been some pretty boring hours in the day that just aren't worth filming but I suppose the reason that I am filming this video is to get it off my chest to go one-on-one -on -one and be completely honest with you guys and obviously to continue bringing you on the journey that I am going on and it is an absolutely amazing journey and by no means is things gonna slow down in fact it is gonna speed up and that's why again I decided to chill out this week take some time off and work on a three-part series for Goodwood Festival of Speed with Michelin that is coming very soon that is very very planned out and thought through which I'm very excited about filming and editing then we've obviously got Goodwood Festival of Speed and then after that on the 26th of June it is the Modball Rally which I cannot wait for I'm gonna be in the car with Sam and there's gonna be loads more familiar faces on the rally so June is gonna be absolutely hectic and I cannot wait for it I hope that everything I've said in this video has made sense. I hope you guys can understand and I'd appreciate obviously all of the support as you've been providing Supercars of London in the past and I'm just always overwhelmed with the amount of love that you guys show and it's just been a bit of a roller coaster after the last six to nine months and I've never really had time to reflect on what a crazy time it's been and I'm very much looking forward to the next six to nine months and the next year and seeing where supercars of London goes and this is the best bit about this video and obviously making a video like this is I want you guys to comment below on any questions that you have because I want to do a Q&A off the back of this video I think it's just an important video to do and at the same time comment below on what you want to see on supercars of London because I've been trying to keep up to date with all of the comments across the entire supercars of London platform and I just want to make the best content that you guys want to see so whatever it is whatever ideas you have please put it in the comment box below because I'm gonna be reading every single one of them and I think this is just a really important time for myself and the channel as to try and work out in what direction do I want it to go Last year was definitely a trial and error. I thoroughly enjoyed doing the daily vlogs. Would love to bring the daily vlogs back. And I think as the summer starts kicking in with the supercar season, I'll be able to do that with some of my other opportunities and things that are going on. So please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for getting this far in the video. Big, big appreciation. So thank you guys for watching as always. And I apologize that this probably isn't as exciting as some of my other videos but I can promise you that the next video is a lot of fun and does involve more than three cars and I drive all of them so it is a lot of fun that is coming soon so click subscribe if you haven't already and if this is the first video that you've watched from Supercars of London then I greatly apologize and 
Um, feel free to go back on all of the videos that I've done and watch some of them because they're a lot better and probably a lot more upbeat than this one. But thank you guys for listening. I definitely feel like I've got a weight off my shoulders and I'm gonna continue to strive to be the best that I can be and create the best videos as possible and upload them to Supercars of London. So thank you guys, big thumbs up and I will see you soon. Cheers.